This video was brought to you by NCIX. Great technology, selection, and service. Hey guys, this is Dmitry with Hyro Canucks and welcome back to another review. Now, Genius seems to be the name that has been popping up a little more often with regards to gaming peripherals. Their GX gaming line is ambitious with the pro gaming style tag. So let's see if the $70 GX Gaming Imperator Pro keyboard can live up to the name and the branding. Now Genius states that this keyboard is professionally designed and engineered specifically for the MMORPG slash RTS gamer. And the first thing we notice about the Imperator Pro is its size. It's a bit larger than the majority of keyboards and design wise it just looks like a typical gaming oriented frame with unfortunately a non-removable palm rest. Also it is very plastic. We're getting used to so many keyboards with metal and aluminum frames that the Imperator Pro just feels a little bit out of place and a little too late into the game. And I do wish that more emphasis was put into the construction of the keyboard. Now one thing that I was surprised to find, a dual USB 2 pass-through ports at the back, an excellent feature for additional connectivity. The keyboard is connected through two ports, both of which must be plugged in for the backlight and USB pass-through to operate. Along the top we find our media keys as well as volume control with the mute button. We also have three profiles which give us a total of 18 macro combinations with the six G keys on the left. Brightness of the backlight can be adjusted with three levels as well as this breathing mode with slow, medium and continuous for your gaming preference. And at the bottom we have very small rubber feet and non-rubberized standoffs so if you prefer a little tilt on your keyboard, be prepared for some sliding action. Now onto the keys themselves, the Imperator is pretty comfortable to use with a 3.8mm key travel distance. I find that this is just enough to give that satisfying feedback with little key noise. However, they feel a little bit heavy in comparison to our office mechanical set. But for non-mechanical keys, I would say the bounce and response is actually quite nice. The Imperator Pro also features a 1000Hz polling rate, which translates into 1 millisecond response time. Now, key rollover is very important on all gaming keyboards, and we have three different zones. Now, this is not mechanical set, so rollover is limited to anti-ghosting clusters of up to 18 keys. Now, this does limit the amount of keys registered when pounding on the keyboard, but this shouldn't really affect gameplay as anti-ghosting clusters are quite large. But of course, I would like to see unlimited rollover for those speedy typers and gamers who assign multiple keys to different functions uh, when you game. But for a value keyboard, I do appreciate the anti-ghosting clusters given the limitations of the switches. The backlight only peeks through in darkest conditions, it's not very bright and the lettering is also transparent so at certain angles it's actually very hard to see what keys are what. I would have preferred not totally transparent lettering. Color is customizable with the Genius Gaming UI software, however the color options look like something out of the 80s as they're all very pastel -y. and don't translate that accurately onto the keyboard which was also something we found on their GX Gila gaming mouse. Also since there are no individual Windows lock key, Windows key can be locked through the software for either of the profiles. Now when it comes to button customization, Genius have done an excellent job for multiple button options. The G key options are limited, but macro recording is available, so that's always a plus, uh, considering this is designed for MMO and RTS gaming. And one surprising feature I found is the ability to swap any of the keys to something else. So you can use your Windows key for something more useful now in game, like marking your enemies, which is a very welcome feature. Also using Alt, Control and Shift, you can assign secondary commands to your entire keyboard, as holding either of the three buttons switches your profile button layout while the key is pressed. And everything is saved to the Emperor's Pro's onboard memory, so your settings go wherever you go. Now it's not the most modern UI, but it does the job. Also the backspace button is very small, which I cannot stand, and the enter key is oversized. Now I know that key layout is region specific, but this is unusual for a North American English layout. Now overall this keyboard hasn't really shown us anything new in a pretty crowded marketplace. There isn't any real innovation, but at the price of $70 it packs the basics that we can expect from a mid-range non-mechanical gaming keyboard. I really like the practical functionality of being able to remap all your keys and of course assign secondary command options using Alt, Control and Shift as this is designed for MMO and RTS gaming. The keys are responsive with a 1ms response time and we've also got two USB pass-throughs. 
While we have anti-ghosting clusters, we still don't have full anti rollover. And of course, the price of $70 for this plastic peripheral, I still feel is a bit expensive. Now, overall, the Genius Emperor Pro performs like a mid-range gaming keyboard and nothing more. And as I always say, you better opt in for a mechanical set if you're serious about gaming. And this concludes our review of the Genius Emperor Pro gaming keyboard. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.